afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and amazing propaganda cast from me, your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda. Off you turn everything and amazing, spectacular one versus one match here on Langara Sky in the North. It is Pax Ajax fighting for freedom, democracy, America. Taking on the role here of the 5th Armor Division, just clearing out this arrow held by Krauts with Infantry Doctrine, featuring here rifle right defensive structures, mortar architects, light machine guns. Time and target artillery badges. The priest with triple infantry vest in the south. It is Ghost. Fun for the Wehrmacht. Germany, Deutschland. Taking on the role here of the 352nd infantry division. Short task with holding this vital strategic road to shore up the front of the, or the flank of the second SS Panzer Corps here with Mechanus Assault featuring assault grenadiers, Mechanus Assault Groups, Stug 3Es, light artillery badges, and the Tiger Tank with triple infantry bullets in there as well for Ghost. Gonna do assault near start here for Ghost. Interesting opening up double rifleman here for Pax Ajax. No MD 42s as of yet here for Ghost and the Germans. Assault gun is equipped with five MP40 sub machine guns. Can be laid upgrade with the six guy, which adds a six sub machine gun. Also some other slight bonuses. Heading westward here again. Also note the aggressive play. He's likely going to look to disrupt here. Pax Ajax opening, going for the fuel point there, hoping he's actually sending in the echelon, so even single rifle squad. Either way, the assault on this can quickly sprint in here using sprint and actually bait them. So this is actually a pretty interesting and clever opening there by Ghost, which you rarely get to see as the Wehrmacht. Even if they do go for something like Mechanus Assault. So two thumbs up there to Pax Ajax for definitely showing us there are other ways to play. So there you go. We've seen, I think, I see a sprint. And there you go. Rav Squad spotted. He's going to sprint. No, doesn't need to sprint closing in there on the rifleman. Up close with the assault gunners. MP40 versus M1 Garands. First character goes down to the gentle. There you go. The MP40 is quickly closing the distance. The rifleman are dropping like sacks of wheat. And there you go. Rav, we got another Rav Squad pushed in there. But even then, the engagement has slowed down here. Pax Ajax opening early game here. Had to nine a bit of fuel here. Assault gunners will need to retreat soon. Of course, they can try and stall for a bit while in the west. We've got the Pioneers for the Echelons. In this case, Pax Ajax on the rear from the west, which you'd figure the east with his protective rifle school, but there you go. Some surprises can happen. Either way, though, Grayson's will be routed. And ultimately, the fuel was destroyed. We got more Gunnadies here for Ghost, still in the sound of the MD42. Guess we won't be seeing anyone anytime soon. Back here, now the third round for Pax Ajax, instead, of course, reinforcement for the troops after they've been, uh, you know, given a hug and told everything will be alright. Those nasty Germans won't surprise anyone anymore with the sap machine guns. Don't worry, Carl. They can't figure that out again. It's not like, you know, we would say, repeat the same mistake as the French in the Ardennes. Ha 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 ha. Anyways, Sandbox in the West here. Gunnadies moving up. Rifle Squad moving in there as well. And no tech yet. They're far the side. Gunnadies getting quick kill in the Rifle Squad. Just as arrives there after again that little hug and a nice comforting pep talk there. They immediately met by German resistance and immediate casualties. Pioneers went to support here. Gunnadies moving into around the center. And there you go. Force the Rifle Squad to fall back here. Another Rav Squad moving in here for Pax Ajax. And still no sign of tech. be interesting enough. Either side with two. Leave not. Oh, there we go. We got the lieutenant here for Pax Ajax and the 5th Armoured. As the 352nd Infantry Division is certainly leading a spirited infantry attack here against Pax Ajax. Living up to the German Infant Doctrine, which overall put emphasis on aggressive tactics and not defensive. In fact, German Doctrine overall pretty much held that defensive fight should all be considered a temporary mess. You always try to attack your opponent and force them on the defensive. So, a little bit of interesting doctrinal talk. And there goes the Rav Squad setting up against the Gunnadies. We got the Assault Gunnadies moving on the flank here. Catching the Rav Squad in a pretty awkward spot there. We also got Ghost Fight taking up there. And there goes Rav Squad being bled. How the Assault Gunnadies are taking a bit of beating, but even then they're dealing a lot of damage to the Rav Squad. And there goes another set of forces moving in here from Pax Ajax, they're almost getting wiped in the rough squad in the early game. Forcing retreat here. Can the Gunnadies finish off? There's two Gunnadies caught for no. The shrubberies cover the retreating rifleman. Rav squad, they need to get away as well. Here, Gunnadies, they're being flanked by the rifleman. We've got no grenades up here. They're from Pax Ajax, who's really exploited this. Rav squad, they're pushed back as well. Some heavy casualties. A veritable blanket of olive, uh, olive green American riflemen there just in front of the haystacks there. A brutal engagement there. Just efficient use there of infantry. By Ghost. Back here, troop reinforcing. And could also do some healing, but I think right now what is more pressing is he actually getting out a 50 card machine to help contain Ghost infantry because Ghost here is definitely relying on some very aggressive attacks. If I'd like to make another comedy up with Ghost, probably going to be a 2 to 2, maybe a pack 40, though we could also go for the 2 to 3 half track since aggressive infantry tactics tend to synergize well with a good half track. And there goes Sultan is routed, link just the gun that he's not going to be dealt with by the lieutenant. 
Although the lieutenant's taking a lot of damage here. He's trying to go for the warp, but I think there's a most play oh, bad call here. There, the lieutenant is himself is dead, which actually drops a significant part of the squad's firepower since the Thompson in game it performs better than the assault rifle. Which, of course, didn't in the actual war since you know, sight machine gun is not an assault rifle, but in game. It has performance that slightly outperforms an assault rifle. But there you go. Armored car on the way there. Fort Ghost. Check they're done for Pax AJ. It's probably going to be to a light tank. But he really should strongly consider investing into a 50 cal bassoon here. And obviously at some point. Ghost should also consider investing into machine guns of his own. But for now. He is very much relying on just aggressive disruptive infantry tactics. Which are clearly catching Pax Ajax off guard. Hey aren't we the ones in waiting? Why are the crouch attacking us all the time? Well you see Carl. It's about infantry doctrine. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. I just heard it somewhere in the radio once. I thought it sounded cool. Uh. Anyways, fifth car on the way there for Pax Ajax. Armored car setting out here for Ghost. And we got a rifle coming in. Queen Quad here by the Gunners. We got double arm machine up there. Ghost rapidly increasing the firepower of his infantry at the front line here. Threatening to really put a lot of harm there to Pax Ajax. But there you go. Finally catching. A bit of a break there, hitting the armored car. It's all managed to get most of the map. And we do see one issue here with Pax Ajax strategy. As these typically the armored infantry strategies do these. They cannot hold ground very well. They're very much relying on just dealing a lot of damage and hoping they can get back on the field before the opponent pushes them all the way to the back because they lack machine guns. But also, again, this is where the truth and half check, you know, could also help. They lack a way to quickly get back on the field, just maintain presence. So we are seeing effectively the limits here of the go strategy. And again, why they aren't typically that popular. Because again, they can do a ton of damage, but they also can't take a lot of damage. And they quickly tend to find themselves, you know, outmaneuvered in that sense. So there are definite risks here. And we got Pax A, you said with the 50 cal, which is going to make it even harder here for Ghost. And Ghost really should consider some machine guns, or at least a 251 half track. But again, most infantry players tend to neglect both of those, unfortunately. Assault course going straight for the resistance, though. Going in with MP40s, going for this and fuel pond here. Goes at least sort of maintaining some mobility there, very good. Armor covers right from Lieutenant in the center. Another anti tank right from it off here. Ghost Crew Bravo, they clearly a bit drunk. Got Lieutenant Bazooka as well. They misses the armored car, much a man to the reef here of Ghost's armored car crew, but that relief may be short lived. Pack 4 in the way, they're heading for these and fuel as well. They're good and aggressive play again by Ghost. He certainly has that one down to a T. In a way you most typically don't see unless for most Valorant players unless they're possibly aim strong and even then as you might know since aim strong likes to su support that with an MB42. Stuart lighting away for Pax Ajax, P50 Cal be pushed east was there to do with the fuel pond harassment, going for the cop and play again aggressive play here by both sides. Though I would say with some slight uh, notable difference though of course partly due to the factional differences. But also I think just differences in overall style of play and such. We turn their route it. Rough squad here was the assault gun of the years. We got light machines up as well now for Pax Ajax infantry, increasing their firepower obviously versus the infantry significantly. But he's attacking though, two squads versus one. I would say he should have stayed in cover there and moved into an effective range of the rough squad, though in the end, even then managed to support them back. But I think to say that is easily down to just having larger numbers more than anything. Eastern fuel pond almost reclaimed here by the Americans. So far, I would say a very exciting and spirited match between Ghost and Pax Ajax. Resistance Rav Squad moving out here, Lieutenant reinforcing he should be. And there you go, M58 Sewer Light Tank out there. Initially, a reconnaissance tank was actually got uh, shifted over to the uh, infant support role once the Greyhound arrived. So, a little fun fact there. Glenn is on the center there, 8 kills, Red 22. Ambulance in the way. Stoop 3 E's technically available. They need to take out first to get them in, and even then. With the pacing on the match, he might like to consider just moving straight for medium armor. And there you go, MD42 finally for Ghost. Finally, having to realize he does need to bring up a heavy machine gun to further solidify and somewhat hold up the ground against versus the Americans. Gonna need to ride as well. We got the pack 40 there. Ready to open up and say Yankees. It's the armies. Fifth covers the gun of the ears. There you go, suppressing. They do get a rough grenade off here just in time. Killing Bobby Job Bob. Bobby Job Bob. Bobby Joe Bob. But then again, who knows? Maybe there's a Bobby Jaw Bob out there. Hey, Bobby Jaw Bob. Hey, Bill. Anyway, troops reinforcing. It's ambulance out here for Pax Ajax as well. Troops sitting out here for Ghost once more. Tank traps up there. Very good. But whilst the rifle squad taking 5 2 2. I'm surprised, Bobby. He's not actually laying down sandbags with his rifle squad. I mean, he can do that with infantry. It could also lead our minds with them, which obviously would be, I think, quite effective here versus Ghost. So, it's a bit of a slight uh, note there, but there you go, Stuart Light Tank catching the armored car off from the head. But there you go, Pack 40 in the scene, pushes back the Stuart Light Tank. 
Once more, furious and spirited fighting here ensues between the 352nd Infantry Division and the 5th Armour Division. 5th Cal being hauled back for enforcement, hidden rifle sitting out there. Brian Light machine guns clenched tightly in their hands. Traegers. Safely kept there so they don't just accidentally mow down half their own squad by accident. But like obviously being a big fan in proper, you know, weapon handling. Also, I think it would be pretty annoying for a lot of players if suddenly they just risk, you know, some idiot just mowing down half of their own squads. That might be one piece of RNG too far. <laughs> and his rock squad being caught in the before two quick retreat there. At this point, Pax Ajax probably should consider some artillery here versus some um, ghost. Mortar could be quite effective. He could, of course, go for the mortar after. Instead, he goes for grenades. Hello. That's interesting. Almost all infantry is now equipped with light machine tactics, except the assault units, which can't, and uh, well, the lieutenant actually can. So that's a bit interesting of the gunner squad. There we go. Do get a mortar half track for Pax Ajax, the M21 mortar half track. Things are getting quite interesting. So lighting on a five from the Pack 40 gunners, they're holding up the line. M42 can't support. Oh, except actually, apparently, can just narrowly. Not bad. The east side, there, good push here by Ghost as Pax Ajax is moving everything towards the center. Though we got the mortar after moving up, ready to bombard here. Ghost position. Oh, go grenade over takes to the Pony Squad. The Pony Squad goes down. Ghost was not expecting that. The surprise grenade is surprisingly enough actually a big surprise since most American players tend to not use grenades. If you suddenly go for one in the mid game and suddenly start chucking, your opponent can actually be surprisingly low called off guard as they just don't expect it. I mean, it's different, say, versus Pentagon, since they always will chuck grenades at you and something like that, so you're more likely just going to be able to dodge that. But Versus the Americans, because you typically rarely see them use grenades and bother with them. The first grenade in particular can be incredibly powerful. Well, there we go. Spread it, push it through the center of Pax Ajax. Backed up on the mortar track. We can see here the ghost lines are breaking. The 2 to 2 is about to get knocked out here. Except the steward can't hit on the move, apparently. Oh, there we go. Gets a hit. Almost got the pack forward as well here. Mortar fire on the machine gun. This is turning into a terrible situation here for Ghost and the 352nd machine gun gone. Armored cars about to get knocked out as well. The pack 40 could be wiped as well here. It's a disaster for Ghost and the Germans. The only thing that seemingly gets out of this mostly, all right, is the pack 40. And even then, mostly. There you go. Grenade assault flushes away the packs. Ajax and he panics and halts as a too fast retreat here. East side here, they at least got the fuel points. There's some good maneuvering by Ghost, at least turning a slightly rubbish situation into a less rubbish. And in a, I think, sense of desperation, he calls from the Stu 3, I think, more out of panic than anything else. Note that any Stu East by 1944-45 would largely have been part of any training or replacement battalions. And note, there are actually two of those in Normandy. In fact, one of them, the Hornet I, was actually one of the first armored, in fact, probably the first German armored units actually, you know, fight the Allies. I mean, they actually had some Stug 3s in it. So, little fun fact. They're going to be suppressed with the Rav 50 cal there. Rav from from being up there as well. No mind was up here for Pax Ajax. The fortune of the Ghost has not mined. But there you go. Stug moving in. Failing to kill the crew. Though. That's a bit awkward. Correct his stone. That Stug in turn against Pax Ajax. Pretty awkward there. Stug now going up maneuvering the Stug and go Stuki and getting out of there. Pack 4 nearby though. Bit dicer there. Benitez was the rifleman. No tech yet for packs. We definitely should consider that soon. Stugi rolling it. Ralph Courtney above again. The advancing Stormke should slide out. Yeah, assault gun is moving up there. Could actually now upgrade them with the veteran squad leader for an additional man, which means more firepower plus some other bonuses. Always a good upgrade for your assault gunners, to be honest. More pioneers there for Ghost, since he obviously needs that to repair Stug 3E. Still a light tank here versus the Stugi. And of course, the pack 40 here. Tank truck in this case actually make it hard for him to get his steward out of there, but he does get away with it a bit narrowly. More tough tech firing away there. One kill so far, but also close to veterans who won. No tech yet there for Pax. And there's a pommel call yet for Ghost. And they've almost got the assault gun. He is a stinging blow here potentially for Ghost and the Germans. Fifth gun under fire here, but we could see the assault guns actually wiped out in a treat. Yes, very likely. Or maybe they get lucky. Until he called in here. Forcing retreat, he's saving the assault on this. Close shave here. Stugi getting a damage thing. Ten going forward here with the bazooka. Could try and hunt down the pack 40. 50 cal wiped out though. A sneaky blow there on Pax Ajax. Can Ghost realize that he sees that looking pretty good for him? But deny Pax machine gun, of course, get him his own. Need to treat the Ralph Squad though. That's getting, I think, a bit too overconfident here. Stugi with one kill so far. More troops moving from north. Another fifth cal here for Pax Ajax. So Ten trying to deal with the Stugi. Grenade off in the gun of Gets a hit there with the Lara grenade. Almost takes out the lieutenant. 
fighting remains furious and fierce. In the center, Pani is making a run for the fifth cow, catching it under Pax Ajax nose. Sneaky, yet effective. Ross going from the north, going for the pack 40, possibly should do keep on biting the fifth cow there. Landing a great hit, almost taking out the entire crew. Could see another fifth cow lost here for Pax Ajax. He's some the one now on the receiving end of a lot of pain, a lot of misery. Stugi gaining vets since he won. We got 453 versus 404. Stuart Lighting really going to try and flank the Stuart Stugi and take it out here. Pack 40 wiped out. Oh dear. The fighting continues remains fluid and frenetic. Almost got the Stuart. E with the Stuart light tank. My god, and the Stuart E is kaputt. Meine Damen und Herren, the Sturmgeschütz is kaputt. And he could technically try and run off of the pack forward, but at this point, I think he's better off trying to destroy it somehow. But Jesus, this is some spectacular stuff. The Ghost hopefully is going to take up soon. He's going to need some armor out of a slightly more reliable kind than the Stuart E. Fifth coming up, he's opening up the Stuart light tank. Going to use up, he's going to go for the fuel point. I'll just push. Brack the fifth cut of Pack 40, I imagine. Ralph's got a hook on the building, though it is close to collapsing there, so we may want to be careful there. In fact, a bit more damage from some explosions could see the building collapse entirely. More firing down here from the mortar half track. Note, he's not using the badge ability, definitely over slightly over saved by Pax Ajax. Needs to treat that Ralph squad, though, needs to trade it. Oh dear, he needs to get out of there. Back here, reinforcement. We got the major out there for Pax 8. You can soon push a medium armor. Ghost is soon going to go for the Panther for I imagine. They may consider some Stu G's eventually. Should consider them. Stuart Lighting and going for the Pack 40. The raids of the Americans steep into the territory of the 352nd Infantry. Of Sean continues. He is struggling here to just keep up with it. The Stuart Light Tank is proving to be an incredibly formidable foe here. That is giving him a lot of trouble. Ralph's called Hip Run covering fire against an infantry friend for getting to the Pack 40 easily. Plus the mortar after just makes it hard for him to dig in. He can soon go for the Panther 4 and everything that's going to be happening relying now on the Pack 40 or the Panther 4 here for Ghost. Otherwise, this could be GG. Possibly. Gun is being shot to bits here. Gun is moving ahead here. Still light tangling up. They're close to the east level already. Ghost and the German army remains in a precarious position. Most of the map is now crowned the American. Stuart Light tangling about here, more tough tech firing away. Has used the barrage ability, got three kills, veterans you one there. Just been forcing healing there, Panther 4 almost done. Stuart Light tangling back up here with more tough tech, and there you go. Rob's called caught here. Panther 4 almost done. And right here, Pax Ajax has no anti tank weapons. He hasn't grabbed the pack forward. He's got the bazooka, but that's just one bazooka. That's not going to start a Panther 4 unless something goes spectacularly wrong or spectacularly right. In other words, it's going to have to be an incredibly extreme situation for just one bazooka to stop a Panzer IV. Pani is going to bring in a glance up the fifth car there. Panzer IV there on the move. Not getting a pimp machine, definitely should do that. Mortar ground straight on the hot Panzer IV there from the mortar half tank. And we got more right for Pax Ajax plus a fifth car. The Axis can go for a tank. You probably should consider cancelling one of those. And there you go, 50 car white. Bit of mistake though, Pax Ajax, since that's going to be another machine gun here for Ghost, that means a bit more tool set to work with against Pax Ajax, and perhaps form a comeback with. But there you go, ground the fifth cover, the assault gun, the is going to bring up here for the fuel point, they need to get the pentagon to support. Season these 10 points here, and there you go, machine gun team number two ready, he is going for weapon axe now, probably for more bazookas to be honest. But he's taking the ult again, delaying his tank just a bit. I do understand he just wants to get out a bunch more bazookas now. You could also, of course, add a brand light machine to the or brand, hmm, or BAR, that is what stands for Browning Automatic Rifle, by the way, to the rifleman since they can. While they can only use one Browning light machine, they can actually add a BAR on top of that. Little fun fact there. We got Fury and Trenton Simmons in front of four. Pax Ajax lining up for another Fury Assault here against Ghost and the Germans. Western Fuel, but then we see for the fifth cup, ground the point here in the west. The news of Sultan sending up, Pack 40 reinforcing healing. Pani's been back to repair the Panzer IV. Major here is the Grenadiers. Heavy light machine gun fire there threatens to snuff him up pretty swiftly. Mortifying the Grenadiers, causing heavy casualties, but we got the 5th Cal ready there to suppress some Yankees. And of course, kill them. Western fuel point there being slowly reclaimed by the German army. Panzer IV though is definitely affording Ghost a lot more freedom since Pax Ajax is going to be more careful around it. 
that would help if Ghost doesn't like seemingly offer up his pack 40 to the opponent. That's definitely a bit of a mistake. There might have been a misclick, might have been a miss all or some input delay causing the auto to go the wrong place, but that pack 40 should not have been going there, whatever the case. We got the west side here, putting more pressure there on his opponent. Got the Bazooka teams ready here for Pax Ajax. Very good for him. Let's go for Ghost Panzer 4. Pax, though, is still not going for any tanks himself. I really think he'd go for some Pax Germans by now, some Scots even, Jacksons, just something. Obviously, it's definitely a bit of a mistake there by uh, Pax Ajax. And there you go, Panzer 4 taking heavy damage from all the Bazookas. Need the 50 cup up there, but the speed is a bit too slow there. Could actually risk losing the Panzer 4 to Bazookas. Oh, good lord. There you go, 50 cal trying to catch up with him, missing. Panther hold back to the base here. A fearless bazooka assault here by Pax Ajax. Pack 40 wiped out again. Fifth cover opening up here in the lieutenant. Other fifth cover nearby as well. Just have to be careful about water half tech and everything else. There you go. Small infantry counter attack here. Most of the infantry are not ready. Could get the Pack 40 and got a smoke grenade from Pax Ajax. Nice work there, but in this case, not quite enough. Hipka right Pack 40 cleared out just narrowly, and Pax Ajax is springing up the Sherman tank. Very good there. More pioneers for Ghost. Absolutely just brutal action there. He's, of course, he need a more pioneer to repair his Panzer Force action when the pioneer squad out there when he probably keep it back here for reinforcements. And I think he should consider Stug by now to help uh, provide armor and for tank support there. A mortar could also, I think, be a good idea here for uh, Ghost, to be honest, versus Pax Ajax. A bit of a television zone could be helpful, even if Lightning's going to struggle versus the mortar half track, since that's a vehicle. It might still be an idea. There you go. Pioneers hold back. Needs to get the other pioneers got working that Panda 4. And he really should consider upgrading it with a machine gun itself. See, he's done fuel pony with the gun it is. Good work there by Ghost. Swift advance out the west here. Still lighting opening up here. Ace level, nine kills. Very good. Sherman ready there for Pax Ajax. Rocking it off here. Oh, sadly nothing there. So just a waste here of munitions for Ghost, but great for Pax Ajax, of course, this opponent wastes munitions. Fifth cal coming out the center. East side, he grabbed normal fuel. We got the Sherman there on the move. No fifth cal out to that one either. Still a lot on the west side, dealing with this salt, and it's got the force of treaty. I'm surprised he hasn't upgraded those either. That definitely seems like a significant oversight by Ghost, to be honest. Since it's just really good. I mean, again, it's an extra guy on the squad, which makes the tough squad overall tougher, and again, allows him to grab points fast. I mean, that's pretty good, no matter what you look at, for 60 munitions. White Foss was there, not bad. In this case, the, what we say, more fitness retreat path. Pound for moving ahead here, pack for as well there. Need to be careful there. Stuart Light Tank on the flank here. Pound for rushing in, need to cover around the bazooka, but there you go, going for the Sherman tank. Shoots and misses. Oh dear, need to put the Pound for back already. The bazookas, the Sherman will be too much finish there already. Stuart on the flank here. Gonna need to bring up the Pioneer support there, Pound for. Oh, Pack 40 is trying to attack ground here. Need to shim the Sherman's already moved past that. And there goes obviously lost the Panzer IV already. Not great here for Ghost. Not great. But great for the next There goes smoked in the machine gun and the Pack 40 position by the Sherman. Thumbs up there to Pax Ajax. Panzer IV getting that into one. Being splinted here. Need to deal with that still light tank though. Bazooka team moving in. Sherman on the move again here. They're actually threatening to get into line up for Pack 40. Much more better mistake than from Pax Ajax. But can understand his enthusiasm there. Go finally breaks off here. Panzer IV. Narrowly survives. He's also very close to another Panzer IV, though again, he may just want to consider the sugar. There you go, heavy mortar bombs into the smoke. Good lord, there is no entered. And now it's calling in a priest artillery piece. He's just going to try and finish it off this, I think, with artillery, though. I think he may want to consider like more tanks first, but I'll fix up the Panzer IV here. Can soon go for that Panzer IV. In fact, he can right about now, I think. And definitely should do that. I think right now, going for a target tank would be a grave. Tactical error there by Ghost. We've got Tilly called in just to keep his opponent off the point. This is basically just for area of denial more than anything. He's not expecting to kill anyone. He's just hoping to buy time in terms of victory points. Now the Panther 4 there for Ghost. Very good fix on the Panther 4. Priest there firing into the base, I believe. Yes, indeed. Risk threatening to take out all machine gun crews. Need to get them out of there. Ghost, schnell. 
Assault is about to get murdered here. Gunnies being engaged. The Raft's wanting to treat them here in the west. We got Panther Fourth. Good to go once more for Ghost. Assault is called wiped out. Oh dear. That was a bit of a waste there by Ghost. A bit of a waste. Panther Fourth, the number two, almost done. Stuart moving ahead here. Ryan's line of fire, the pack 40, possibly in the Stuart Panther Faust here. Does he get away with it? Yes, it seems like he gets away with it. Lucky bastard, Panthers Moonhead gaining venture two shots now, but gets stunned up. And gets pelted here by anti tank rock grenades, possibly. No! Pax Ajax just narrowly does not have the munitions for it. Lucky there for Ghost. But now he has two tanks out in the field. Where's Pax Ajax? He's committed so much until he does lack more anti tank the, or tanks, but he does again have the bazookas. But that may be like, with the increasing amount of tanks here from Ghost and other stuff. Not quite carted, plus even 50 cows. Good lord, this is just absolutely spectacular action. There you go, Panthers moving ahead. Going straight for the Sherman. Need to up not to extend. Freeze needs to get to safety as well here. Panther Ford down to half health. Still no pin my machine in either Panther Fours. That is really awkward there by Ghost. In my opinion, a bit awkward. Heavy mortar firing down again there for the mortar half track. And then go Pentafall, less than down a half health. Pack Hay Mortar Bomb then close to pack 40. And not doing too much damage there, but there you go. Still light tank Pantafas is finally. More heavy mortar fire there. Oh dear, has to turn around the point. Oh, gets away with it again. Some incredible luck there for Pax Ajax is still a light tank. And now we got to find the center of the machine guns. Pax just being hauled out of there. Back here, reinforcement healing, heavy artillery fires almost taking out the medic bunker. Panther Force in dying repairs. We got 240 and 346. That's a lot of artillery that Pax Ajax has on the field. But again, he is a bit shorter in the tank department. So if Pac Ghost can just get enough tanks there, he might be able to pull something off, I think, with a good flank versus Pax Ajax. And again, nice use of smokes there with Pax Ajax. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Fifth color being overwhelmed, need to retreat this in from the charges forward through the smoke, in front of the grenades, more tapping as well, they're close to the east level. Panther needs to be careful not to get too east of them in range. Panther Force firing away, there you go, heavy cags amongst Pax Ajax infantry there, I think he perhaps might have gone too old confident here versus Ghost. And it's certainly showing if that's the case because the infantry is dying in droves. Almost got the steward light tank here, gets away due to lack of Panther Force here from Ghost. Apparently it's a Brad Pitt situation where the German army somehow is lacking Panther Force. Like in Fury, despite again them producing, you know, millions of them. Wouldn't be surprised if it turns out the German army has a code for that. Now it's just like, yeah, we have a Fury on our hands. Scheiße again? Yeah, I don't know if it's a Panther first. Keep going. Anyway, Sherman down to half health. Gunnies moving ahead. You're taking fire from the Stuart and the Sherman. Going for the Western victory point there. Gun is routed. Back here, trip reinforcing healing. We got more machine guns away. The four. Ghost. Wunderbar, though. Again, he could also think because of the Shuna Stug to just add some extra punch to the armor and vehicles. Priest moving ahead here. Pax Ajax, though, really should consider more tanks or maybe even a tank destroyer. He should also consider more efforts on the flanks here rather than just head on attacks here. At least he should provide uh, better smoke coverage for these attacks, I think. New mod goes about to move his tanks up the center as well. Sadly, not a lot of action on the flanks. He really should run with the flanks. I think one was reason that he had such great success in the early game was he was quite good on those, but for now, it seems like he's forgotten about it. He's also losing out infantry now. Definitely need to replace some of these losses. Punching these would be, in my opinion, a great consideration there. But anyways, Panthers moving ahead here. Armored assault here from Ghost and Deutschland. But there you go. Still lighting, so things have got the around here. Good to see the Panther get knocked out. Can he finally just get rid of that ace to a light tank? Does look like he finally puts it below ground almost got the shaman as well they're pushing with the panther he's risking a lot of fire there from pax ajax and the fifth armored and he does pull back here risen now out in the open taking hay fire from the gun of the east and other machine and source bazooka's being dropped in the process determining the sort of bazooka fire there panther 4 14 kills close to the east level grabs the bazooka back here good catch there by pax ajax panther 4 there in dying repairs in fact both are in fact and his pioneers are both at the front lines and need to be hauled back to repair the tanks as fast as possible. And again, going for Stuke will be an idea. Going for an Ostman could also be an idea as an infantry, but definitely needs to go for something there. Plus, more infantry. Pantagonia Scorp would be my recommendation at this point. 
fact, two would be a really, think, really strong uh, thing to go for. All we need to fix up those Panzer Kampfwagen fears. Bit of chili cold in here. Got 12 kills in the house, and not too shabby. They have a Pax Ajax, not too shabby. We've got 194 to 144. What is he planning? Another Panda 4, that's going to be triple Panda 4s. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Certainly something I'd much more easily recommend here than, say, going for a Tiger. Although with three Panda 4s, he could take me an alarm to save up for a Tiger tank. But I would still recommend at least bring in one weapon squad before going for it. Now, of course, the magic question though, can then Ghost handle these three Panda 4s effectively enough? Oh, he's finally upgrading the machine guns, it's like, you know, remember. Oh, so that's up for these things are back into depot. Yeah, it's even marked for it, but Sam haven't forgot it. Yeah. Oh, but you look at that, it's all our Panther for us too. Yeah. Funny how that works. Jack's on the way there for Pax Ajax. Finally getting some tank resources, of course, with three Panther Falls and limited other armor. It may not entirely work out depending on well Ghost Towns with tanks. Again, a great flank there. Could possibly be all gone. But there it goes. Also finally beginning again to extend pressure on the sides here of Pax Ajax territory, which is great. Meanwhile, Pax Ajax is still heavily focused on the center there. Good hand the Sherman. Need to get that fifth guard there. Getting smoked again by Pax Ajax. Thumbs up. And he's about to get murdered though by incessant American attack from the mortar after got nine kills on it. Got the raft score, it does get away there. Pentacles advancing. Fine one also getting up to the pinlock machine. Very good there. Very good. Echelon's being shredded here by Hay Machine and far from the Panther Falls again. Those pinlock machine guns actually add some damage. So I'm surprised when players don't upgrade them. They just add damage. There you go, Shaman knocked out. A huge blow. They need to get this. Free start, there's one more tough track. This is turning into a bit of sauce there for Pax Ajax as the Panda 4 strike down. Jackson around here flanking the Panda 4. And due to the smoke wreckage of the Sherman, it can't see the priest apparently. That is incredibly lucky there for Pax Ajax. Panda 4 pulling a blitz here, but it may not be able to avoid here the line of sight on the Jackson. Pack 4 around, there you go. Panda 4 down, other Panda 4 blitzing hit. Bazooka's missing it, but there you go. One hit. Jackson needs to get the distance between it and the Panda 4. Ralph Corping up there into tank. Ralph grenades could see the Panda 4 down here. Damn it, Engineer! No, it gets the Jackson first ace level. Needs to get the Masuka teams in the deal with the Lieutenant from one side. Yes, and Severin forcing back at base. Needs to get back fast. He priest in trouble with the ace Panzer four. Oh dear! Pearson being reinforced. There you go. Masuka teams ready. Priest down. A staggering blow to Pax Ajax. By Ghost, and the ambulance gets knocked out as well by the Panzer four. It may go down, but it's taking as many as possible with it down to hell. Good lord. That was brutal. For two Panzer Force, he took out most of Pax Ajax stuff. Like, he lost the Jackson. He lost the Sherman. He lost the Priest. He lost an ambulance, too. Like, the only thing that's left is the mortar half track. Everything else is just in, on fire. I'd say that's a pretty decent trade off there for Ghost. Perhaps not perfect, but pretty decent. So he still has one tank in the field. And Pax Ajax. Has none. This end there almost saying that Rob's got being pushed back by the Panda 4. 13 kills. So they're approaching Metsy 2 back here. Trip reinforcing healing for Pax Ajax. But he needs armor. He needs tanks and tank destroyers. And Ghost just needs, well, more tanks. Absolutely brutal stuff here. 188 versus 280. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, right round. Oh, shut up, Ludovic. You always get sort of when you die. Got the Eastern Victory Point there. Big push here for Pax Ajax Infantry. Grand Eastern Point there. Rather than moving up here, Lieutenant retreating, apparently forgot something. In fact, it looked like they forgot the Lieutenant himself. <laughs> hey, we forgot someone. Who? The Lieutenant. Oh, yeah, we lost the last one. Well, machine guns there for Ghost. Going for an ambulance before tank. 
I mean, I can to extend to a degree, but I think he should prioritize Alma here as the Panzer IV. And there you go, Ghost is just going to run into the base. He costs more damage and harm, but there you go, the Zuka team's pushing back the Panzer IV, narrowly avoiding another disaster like the previous one that happened inside of his base. I'm sure they'll make a very, very sad move about it. Langraskaya. Or Langras. 2021. Starring Brad Pitt and Tom Hanks. A tragic feel sad movie. Where an American base got raided by the Germans. Anyways, Osman way there for Ghost. And going for tier 4. Fifth guy hanging back here. Pony's moving back in the east as well. Just going for the Eastern Victory Point. Fifth Cup holding away there. Smoking off. MD4 to the Rifleman. Pioneers in the East there as a Rifle Corp. We got the Fifth Cup backing up there as well. Quite a few machine guns by now here for uh, Ghost. Actually, three machine guns. That is quite a lot of suppressive firepower. And quite a headache there for Pax Ajax. I mean, he does have the Mortar effect, but. Still, it's going to be a bit of a tough one. But there you go. Gets the machine in there. 50 cal could be reclaimed here by the Americans. A small win there for uh, Pax Ajax. Except Ghost is pretty quick to close that one. Door shut. <clears throat> Can go for another Panther 4 now. Of course, he may try to stall for a Tiger tank, though. I think that might be a bit pointless. I could like to give Pax Ajax time to cover and maybe launch some sort of counter attack. But even that might not be enough. But there, Gomez got a rough there as well. He actually noted upgrade them with both Brian Light Machines and the BAR. Two times up, that's Pax Ajax. Again, not all players are aware of this, and so we'll only equip them with the Brian Light Machine. But again, I want to remind you, you can actually upgrade them with a BAR as well. Machine of Rod here in the west, going for the western fuel point there, trying to slow down Ghost as well, trying to draw his attention away from the victory points. Not a bad idea, but there we go, going for the Jackson. Very good there. Meanwhile, Ghost is going for the heavy panzer course. He's not even bothering with a tiger tank, I think. That way, he's just. Building it because he can. Finally laying down mines by with their Pax Ajax. Finally laying down mines. I mean, he's actually almost used all the things except the time on target artillery barrage, which, I mean, to be fair, it's a really bad artillery barrage. I don't blame him for not using it. Like, I like the light artillery barrage, which is also a lot cheaper. This one takes ages to land. Sure, I mean, it says it lands in quick succession, but the problem is it takes forever for them to land in the first place. So it's kind of a bad artillery badge, particularly when you consider its cost, and again, compared with this, it's just, yeah. <laughs> so I don't blame him. Meanwhile, he's made, mm, you know, three abilities as well there. No mechanism assault groups. Bit sad of that one, personally. But there we are. He's going for the Storm Panzer. Fear. I mean, that's probably going to give Pax Ajax Infantry a bit of a rough game there. Go smoking it off. Using the more tactic for that. Thumbs up to Pax Ajax. <laughs> Machine and they're being host down. Grenade off as well. Hell of a throw there. Machine gonna wipe out. And forward to the rescue. Jackson up. Got Tilly called in here around the center. Around on the fifth call there. And forward getting ready to two. Great stuff. Jump punch to be halfway done. You got 188. There's 118. Jackson firing away at the Panther 4. Starting up the Jackson tank destroyer. Rafa versus Grenadiers. Now I'm squad's heading out. Got the Storm Panzer Fiat out there for Ghost. Gonna be going for the Eastern Victory Point. On an idiot, it's on a three. Storm Panzer rolling ahead here. Ghost lining up for a smaller push here. But again, he could do one. He easily has to reach. They could just call him a mechanized assault group. He should do that. Do it, Ghost. Dicker Panzer, the Storm Gruppe. Guess he doesn't want it. Anyway, Panzer rolling ahead. He's going for the Jackson tank. Destroy up there. You go. Combat Blitz main gun out. 
main gun out. Still on Punch in there, takes out the Mortar, take almost damage in the Panda 4. But at this point, I think it's GG here for Pax Ajax. Mortar after knocked out. Machine Lots being hosed down. Panda 4 then pursued halfway to the ace level. Machine Lots wiped out. This is 69. Panda 4 there blazing away. Pax Ajax falls at this point. I think just completely falling apart here. Got the Panda 4, but I think that's his only win here in the end. As everything else is dead. And there you go. GG game over. Win here for Ghost. A win for the German army. A nice mechanized assault. Doctrine win here, oh, actually. So nice work there by Ghost. Some good tactics. Let's uh, turn a bit too much in the center in the end sort of mid game but still managed to come out nice and really great attacks some great maneuvers there so i hope you learned something from the match I hope it gave you to the match if you know comment like subscribe and share also consider donating or pledging on patreon links in the description this is imperial engine cheers thank you for watching you all are wonderful audience hope to see you all tomorrow for a nice episode bye